Hi guys, so I just want to do like quick little cardio talks for you guys where I have like good tempo music playing in the background so you guys can listen to this while you're at home doing cardio or if you're on the treadmill, whatever. So that's why I've got little crazy techno music in the background so you guys can do cardio while you're listening to this. I just want to share with you guys three of my little quick tips that I think are most vital. So my first tip is that if I find myself constantly focused on what meal I want to cheat on next, like what do I want my next cheat meal to be, then I know my focus is on food and I have to like consciously be aware of that and acknowledge the fact that I'm always thinking about the food. I'll consciously try to shift my focus into my goals. I'll go straight to Instagram. I follow all these amazing fitness people who look phenomenal, and I'll just look at their Instagram accounts and remind myself what I wanna look like, what my goals are. But that's a muscle that you really build. It's not something that you just do at one time and you don't have to worry about it anymore. I find myself going back and forth. If you've been following my videos, you know that it goes back and forth, but it's something that you work on, and over time, you start to keep your focus on your goals and things that you want. Visualizing what you want to look like helps a lot. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys one of my little weird quirks that I do to kind of keep me focused. Um, so you guys know I work out on my trampoline here at home on the weekends, and what I like to do is put a mirror in front of me and I'll look to the side. Here, I'm gonna show you guys. I'll look to the side and I'll kind of put my hands over my belly just to kind of see what I would look like if I was skinny, and then kind of like take them off. Like, okay, this is real life. But, you know, if I keep doing it and keep working at it, I can make my stomach look like this and have a nice, cute belly because one of my goals is to be able to wear a crop top. So that's one thing I do to just keep myself focused. Um, and it's just like, it's silly, but whatever your like goal is, or you know, whatever you can do to kind of like, Visualize what you want to look like will help keep you focused. So yeah, so like if you hold your tummy in and I'll look at myself to the side and it's like, oh, okay, that's, that's what I can look like. My tummy can be nice and flat and I can wear little crop tops and then this is real life. And so it just kind of reminds me like what, how far I have to go, what I need to do, stuff like that. It's silly, but like I think those little things kind of keep you focused and keep you moving in the right direction. My second tip is to let go of the idea of perfection. You'll see that in my in my videos that I post a full week of eating and things like that. It's not always perfect, but I don't expect it to be. And they say the measure of happiness is your perception of reality and your perception of fantasy. You won't get discouraged as much if you're not trying to just be perfect. If you fail on it, then you're just like, you just wanna give up the whole day. You just wanna say, forget it. I didn't follow through. But if you allow yourself to mess up and you expect yourself to mess up, you won't be so discouraged. You won't be so mad at yourself and you won't give up. I like to think of it as coaching a kid to play baseball. If the kid cannot hit the ball and you're constantly saying, you know, just hit the ball, what's wrong with you? You know, they're just gonna be discouraged and be like, well, I just suck at baseball, I'm just not gonna be able to do it. But if you tell them, hey, you've got a great swing, if you keep your eyes on the ball and keep your focus and keep your head down, when you connect with that ball, it's just gonna fly. And that's gonna motivate them. That's gonna make them feel like, you know, all right, I've gotta do this because when it does happen, it's gonna be awesome. My last tip is to forget about how long it's gonna take. If you really are wanting to lose a good amount of weight and keep it off, it's gonna take time. One of the things that I did when I first started losing weight was I would get a little frustrated thinking about how far I have to go. What I would just tell myself is, put your seatbelt on, Shirley, that's gonna be a long ride. Whenever I said that to myself, for some reason, it just kinda of made me stop thinking about how far I have to go, but just like, get settled in, get ready for the ride. It's, you know, it's gonna take a while, but I'm gonna get there. And having that mentality really helped me a lot to stick with it. It's like watching a pot of water boil. If you sit there and watch it, then it's gonna take forever. Don't think about, okay, I have three months to lose 30 pounds or whatever the case may be. Yes, have your goal, but have your goal and then set it aside. Just worry about today. Every day I wake up, I think about what I'm gonna eat that day and just focus on doing good today. And before you know it, when you have a bunch of good days bundled up, then you end up start, start, blah, blah, then you start seeing results. And I think it's kind of like work. If you were to sit down your first day at your job and think about all that you've accomplished in a year's worth of time of work. If your boss was like, okay, this is all you have to do, all you did in that year's time, this is your goal, it's overwhelming and it makes you feel like there's no way I can do all of this. 
but if you just come in each day and do what you're supposed to do each day, over time it builds up. So thank you guys for watching as always, and thank you so much for your support. It means so much to me, and I'll see you guys later. Mwah.